Halloween, and welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm the Joker, and today is Thursday, October 31st, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. In horse racing, they like to say that any horse can win on any given day. But sometimes, if you get out in the lead and never look back the way Juan Morel is trying to do now, all anyone else can do is compete for second place. Juan's less than two weeks out from the Romania Pro, and he's getting sharper by the day. And to me, he might even be a nose ahead of the other front runners, Regan Grimes and Cedric McMillan. Romania is shaping up to be a strong show all the way across the board. But if Juan is at his all-time best, I think he's in a class all by himself. <laughs> if you're within driving distance of San Diego this weekend, I want to start thinking about grabbing a few last minute tickets to the Ultimate Warrior Pro because I'm hearing two time classic physique Olympian Johnny Sebastian is ready to put on a show. A few days ago, someone inside Johnny's camp released a handful of strong progress photos that showed their guy looking as good as we've seen him all season long. With the Ultimate Warrior this weekend and then the Legion Sports Fest right around the corner, this is a good chance for Johnny to step up and grab a few points in the standings. So if he's in peak condition, I think back-to-back -back top fives is a solid possibility. Ah! I think it might have been the legendary John Wooden who said character is what you do when no one is watching. So it says a lot about Brandon Hendrickson about how hard he's been working lately now that he's not dead center in the spotlight anymore. Brandon's been in the gym doing his due diligence a day in and day out to get himself ready mentally and physically for his 2020 season, which all of a sudden looks like it's the biggest one of his career so far. He spent the better part of the last calendar year sitting on top of the mountain, and it's going to take plenty of hard work and character for him to work his way back up to the top of the Olympia throne. One of the all-time classic scenes from The Godfather is when Michael Corleone says, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. And in my head, I like to think that's how Emma Pavley is feeling about less than two weeks out from the Legion Sports Fest right now. At the end of last season, Emma announced that she planned to step back from the industry for a while to pursue some of her other interests. But just like Michael Corleone, Somehow, they managed to pull her right back in. Up until this season, Emma had been an Olympian in back-to-back -back years, so it isn't crazy to think that she should be in the running for a top three finish. Ah! Here's some unsolicited advice from a moderately successful gambler. When you're hot, just keep riding the wave. You never know when Lady Luck might turn in another direction. So if there's someone in Stan Morrison's camp who's watching this guy right now, make sure you tell him we said to keep playing his hand while he's hot. Last week, Stan brought his all-time best to the Titans Grand Prix where he earned a pretty convincing win. And with the Legion's Sports Fest being only a few days away on the calendar, I think the best thing he could do is try to keep the momentum rolling. Lady Luck is a tickle mistress, so you better take advantage while she's on your side. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm the Joker reminding you to always be true to your passions and stick a knife in people's throat without looking. <laughs> Enjoy the Halloween holidays.